Hi, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use an external hard drive that is bigger than 2 terabytes on Xbox 360 console. RGH, etc. Now, obviously, on a normal retail console, you'd be limited even less than that, so that's not for retail consoles. If you're looking for something for retail consoles, this is not the video for you, and it is possible anyway, but for modded consoles, usually it would be 2 terabyte. But I'm going to show you how you can apply a little patch that enables you to use hard drives bigger than that. Alright, so firstly, on the console, um, you see I've got simple NAND flasher there, old flash in the NAND, so I'm just going to run that. And I've, obviously I've shown you how to do all this before, so I'm not going to do the whole thing. You would just go through this, you would press the X button to dump the NAND. And I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that. I've, I've pressed B to exit. So, that's brought me back to the console. And what you'll be left with is a flash dump file. So we can take that and plug it into the PC, but first, before what we do need to do is grab the CPU key of the console. And to do that, you can either dash launch. I say I've shown myself doing it all that in the previous video when I was doing the uh, Xbox One controller tutorial to use that on the 360, everything. What I'm doing here, in regards to grabbing the CPU key, is all in there. Go in dash launch, and when dash launch, you press the B button to go to the menu on the left hand side, and go to console info, and there you'll see your CPU key. So you can make a note of that, or the other uh, uh, method to grab the CPU key would be to fully power off the console and then power it on using the eject button and that will load a Zell screen and your CPU key will be displayed on that and that's the other method so that being said let's move on to the next step okay so we've uh, flashed no we've not flashed the NAND we've dumped the NAND rather <laughs> So let's just say we put that onto a USB device now. So we're at the PC, we've, we've plugged the USB flash drive into the PC, and, have it and you end up with this flash dump file. I've copied that onto the PC. That's on there now. So then what we do? We're going to use a tool called JRunner. So we'll just open JRunner. I already had it open there. So we're going to load the source. And in our case, it would be that flash dump bin file. Okay. So we load that. Now, yeah, that's already got the uh, factory supply to it because I've already done it. So it's already put the CPU key in there, so you would normally you'd have to type the CPU key in there. Um, so we do that and then we go across the patches. Now that's a NAND that's already got that XL USB applied and also if you're using one that's got any other patches applied such as the USB D sec for you one controls that would also be checked as well. Um, you would just check the patch you wanted and then if you're happy with everything you would click uh, create XE build but just briefly before I do that just to mention you, it is the XL USB you must select. The XL HDD is for internal hard drives um, and I wouldn't, well I don't see a point of that at the minute, I mean you could go ahead and do that if you want if you wanted to tinker around with the internal hard drives and put a bigger one in there. I suppose it's possible. But for now, for the sake of this tutorial, we're just doing external ones, so it'd be XL USB. 
Um, yeah, and just to mention, once you do this as well, it will mean that your older external hard drives, that your smaller ones that you've got plugged into the console, that are console in its current state, will no longer work in the console until the so if you've got things on them you want to see them up. Okay. So if you've done that you'll click create XE build. And I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do that. So we can close out with that. And then you will be left with a folder like this. And in there you've got UAP flash dot bin. UPD flash dot bin. So mm -hmm. we'll take that. And you'll copy that across onto a USB flash uh, drive. Okay, and um, and once you've done that, it's on the USB flash drive. You can then return to the console and. And if you'd open them, oh, oh, just a quick point I need to make as well. Um, so the the uh, new NAND that we've just put the patch onto, that we've just uh, modded, if you like, yeah, applied the patch to. You have to put that in the same folder as the simple NAND flasher, otherwise the tool on the console will not pick it up when you go to flash it. Um, so yeah. Good. Simple now. So, everything there you need. Okay, so you can run simple NAND flasher and then just press A, continue, let it do its thing and then the console will be flashed. Alright, simple as that. Okay, so the next step would be to get the hard drive ready for the console. So I'm just going to switch over to the PC. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to plug our hard drive into the uh, PC now. And then what we're going to do is use a tool. Uh, called Fat Explorer. So we run that. And we're going to go to Excel Storage Tools. And by the way, just to mention this uh, seven day free trial, and after that, it requires you to pay for it. It's a great nonetheless. You need to do things like this. So, what we're going to do is format. USB, not HDD, USB because it's external. So we click that, and then it will show you any compatible drives you can do it to. Make sure you choose the correct one. Obviously, in my case, it's a Seagate expansion. And yeah, just to point out, some external drives are not compatible with this. Um, most of them are, but Seagate is always a safe bet. So we'll do that. Click next, and next. Give it a name. So I don't know Xbox 360 X shop for extension. Next. Now, I'm not going to preload it. Obviously, you can do that, but you can add to it later on. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave that bit. Next. And format. Yeah, and that's it. Done. And before I unplug it from PC. Show it in the console. I'm just going to mention if you want to open it on the PC to, to it in your browser or whatever, 
you need to use this tool, otherwise the PC will not read it. So, with this tool open, you can click Devices, and there you go, it'll show right there. If it's not showing, or if you've opened the tool before plugging it in, just click Refresh and it should show up. Okay, so, open that, load device, mount content on partition X, and then it'll pop open in a Windows Explorer tab, and then you can move content across games etc whatever and then when you're done you can just close the tool it will unmount the drive and you can exit okay so moving over to the console just grab the uh, hard drive plug it in Just to see if it has worked. Go across to system settings, storage. Give it a moment. And voila, there it is. 4657 gigabyte free. As you can see, that worked. And unlike other tutorials, it didn't require you to having to go soldering wires and doing it at the point of modding the console. So yeah, just a simple NAND flash, and you can apply patches. So yeah, I hope you found this tutorial useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.